Right there are a couple of thoroughly mashed chicken wings. That's the meat mallet I used to do it with. That's my uh, seven and a half week old pup uh, gargoyles wrecker. My Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan chewing on a turkey carcass. This is a mukbang video. Right there is a chicken uh, wing, like I said, that's been thoroughly mashed. I've broken up all the bones in it, but left it intact so the puppy has to chew it up. You know, it's a problem if you cut up uh, stuff like this for puppies, especially bull breeds. They like to gulp down food. This is my way to remedy that, to teach them how to chew it. Boy. Uh, we've been working with Wrecker and uh, food aggression. If you saw the first video, he uh, didn't like being touched too much while eating. That's because it comes from a big litter and he uh, has kind of an alpha personality. Now, people thought in that first video, uh, in the comments, uh, I had one person say that they thought that uh, this was uh, rewarding the pup for being aggressive. and. Uh, that's not the case. You know, I, I submit you don't know what you're, uh, you're seeing here when this is happening. What you have is a puppy that uh, does not want to be touched when it's eating. And it's telling me when it's eating by growling in that first video and acting like it wants to bite me and making a big fuss. It's telling me, no, don't touch me. And so my touching it, despite it telling me that, is not me rewarding the puppy for its behavior, it's me telling the puppy, I, I don't care what you want. I'm going to touch you and pet you and do this while you're eating, whether, whether you're telling me no or not. And it's me actually subtly uh, uh, asserting my dominance over the puppy. And I'm doing it in a way that doesn't break the puppy's spirit. And now maybe you can see after uh, a few days of that, I now have a puppy that I can touch that isn't throwing a huge fit. I, I get a little bit of grumbling here and there. But he's still tolerating it. And he's he's eating and being relaxed, even when he does give me a little grumble here. And after a few weeks of this, you won't see that at all. There is a method to my madness, and you can see, uh, again, after just a few days in this second update, We've made lots of progress since that first video. You don't have to agree with my methods. I'm just some guy on YouTube uh, showing what I do. I don't portray myself as any kind of dog trainer. Uh, I'm not some type of animal nutritionist. I'm just a former animal warden that's owned and worked with dogs for uh, over 30 years. And this is what I found through, quote, bro science works for me. Do what works for you. That's all. Bye. And for those who will ask, uh, where is uh, Magi? Max? Yeah. Here's Magi right here. Why don't you set her down right there, buddy? Alright. Give her her chicken wing, too. And you can see she's very tolerant of it, also. I just wanted to shoot a a little special video with Wrecker there first to show you how his progress is coming since uh, he's the one that needed the most work. Bye from Wrecker. Bye from Magi. And bye from Kurgan eating his turkey carcass. Again, he's just in there so I could shoot this video here. Also, bye from my boy Max. Thanks for your help, homie. Yeah, welcome. That's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.